Ken Wall is an American film and television actor, popular in the 1980s and 1990s, best known for the CBS television crime drama Wise Guy. Early life and career, All Movie Guide says Wall was born Anthony Carl Sarita on October 31, 1954 in Chicago, Illinois. However, a Newspaper Enterprise Association syndicated article in 1988, citing records checked by the CBS publicist for Wall's television series Wise Guy, gave February 14, 1957, a date that corresponded with that of his high school graduation, a call to Brayman High School in the Chicago suburb of Midlothian reveals Wall graduated from there in June 1975, presumably at age 18. Wall himself is elusive about his personal life. Entertainment Weekly wrote in 2004. The mystery surrounding Wall goes all the way back to the beginning. Ken Wall was born in Chicago on. Well, no one quite knows when Wall was born. Some reports say Halloween 1954, others say Valentine's Day 1956, but these reports seem to be attempts by the actor to stymie curiosity seekers. There's a reason for that. Wall states cryptically, but I am not going to get into why. Oh, one other thing, Ken Wall is not actually Ken Wall. At least he wasn't when he was born. While he declines to disclose his birth name, he does say that the moniker he's gone by for the past 25 years is the name of the person who saved his father's life in the Korean War. According to his official biography, he was born in a tiny apartment on the south side of Chicago, in the late 50s when a young couple welcomed their third child, Kenny. In the late 1960s, it continues, his family of eight moved to the New York City borough of the Bronx, where he attended junior high and, for a time, high school. The NEA article, however, says Wall was the ninth of eleven children from a blue-collar German-Italian family and attended different high schools as the family moved to the, Chicago suburbs of Midlothian and Worth. According to Entertainment Weekly, Wall played baseball, as a shortstop, in unspecified venues that might have included youth leagues and high school teams, before crashing a motorcycle and hurting his knee at age 16. His official biography says he then worked as a janitor while in high school and as a gas station attendant at his family's service station. After graduating from Midlothian's Brayman High in 1975 or dropping out of high school, he left home, his bio says at the age of 18. In his a 69 euros Dodge Dart, and crossed the United States working odd jobs. Eventually living in Los Angeles, he worked as an extra on movies including The Buddy Holly Story. By 1981, Wall's father had remarried, and in between acting jobs Wall stayed in Chicago with his father and stepmother or with his sister. Wall first gained recognition in 1979 when he was cast in the leading role of director Phil Kaufman's film The Wanderers. He was subsequently cast opposite Paul Newman in Fort Apache, The Bronx, and went on to play the lead in movies including Race for the Yankee Zephyr, The Soldier, Jinxed, Purple Hearts and other films. He then suffered another motorcycle crash, while on his way to meet with Diane Keaton about what eventually became the Mel Gibson role in Mrs. Softl. Not wearing a helmet, Wall was injured badly enough to require 89 stitches in his scalp. Wise Guy, after appearing in the ensemble of the TV movie The Dirty Dozen, Next Mission and co-starring with Billy D. Williams in the six-episode TV series Double Dare, Wall was cast in the lead role of Vinny Terranova in the television series Wise Guy in 1987. Wall said the following year, a feature market dried up for me. When Wise Guy came along I was hesitant to do it, but I thought the quality was good. I had to make a living, so I decided to do it. I didn't have to audition or anything. The show ran until 1990 and brought Wall a Golden Globe Award, as well as an Emmy Award nomination. Wall wrote an episode of Wise Guy in 1989 and directed an episode in 1990. During the second season, he injured himself again, on an episode directed by Jan Eliasberg. As Wall recalled in 2004, she had me walking into my own POV shot, and I was stepping up, and the camera wheel caught my right heel and it just ripped out the Achilles tendon. But she wanted to do it again, so I said, OK, you're the boss. 
series creator Stephen J. Cannell said the camera ran over Wall a second time, leaving him in such pain Cannell replaced him for three episodes while Wall healed. He went on to star in the films The Taking of Beverly Hills and The Favor, as well as a Wise Guy reunion TV movie in 1996, his final screen performance. Wall claimed that in 1992 he had endured another motorcycle crash, but eventually confessed to having fallen down a flight of stairs at the home of comedian Rodney Dangerfield's girlfriend and eventual wife, Joan Child. We were dating casually, Wall said in 2004. I stayed over at her house one night, fell down these stairs, and she begged me not to say that in the press. As his official biography describes the incident, I, in August of 1992, Ken accidentally fell down some slippery marble stairs at a friend a Euro unregistered trademark S home, causing his neck to break and his spinal column to be injured. Because his friend was in the public eye, she asked Ken not to say where the accident occurred. So, later on, when the media inquired about the scar on his neck, Ken simply offered the explanation that he had broken his neck in a motorcycle accident, in a sincere effort to protect the privacy of his friend. Wall, blaming a botched surgery and the refusal of doctors to prescribe pain medication, said he told himself, OK, I can't get a prescription, so I'll get a bottle of vodka. I was in such chronic, agonizing pain 24 hours a day that I started drinking to kill the pain. After gaining weight through lack of exercise, and with a growing alcohol problem, he worked 16 days on the reunion movie, and barely got through it. That's when I knew I couldn't do it anymore. Personal life, Wall married his first wife, former Penthouse Pet of the Year Corinne Alphen, in 1983 or 1984 divorcing in 1991. They had one child, Raymond. Wall married his second wife, Laurie Vidal, in 1993 and divorced in 1997. Wall said he met Shane Bobby at a grocery store in 1996, and they married on September 17, 1997. They renewed their wedding vows in 2008. In 1995, Wall was charged with disturbing the peace and arrested on an outstanding warrant for a drunken driving charge, eventually pleaded nolo contenda to both charges and receiving probation. A year later, he was arrested for allegedly threatening a bartender with a hunting knife for refusing to serve him alcohol. He pleaded nolo contender again and was ordered to enter a live in alcohol rehabilitation program. Wall says he and Barbie married after attending 12 step meetings together. In 2009, Wall sued his former business manager, Henry Levine, alleging Levine conspired with Wall's ex wife Corinne Alphen Wall to defraud him. Animal and disabled veterans activism Wall and his wife Shane Barbie are supporters of animal rights and of disabled United States military veterans. On January 19, 2010, he offered his Golden Globe Award as part of a reward then being assembled by the Second Chance Rescue Center in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, to help find and convict the person who glued a seven-month-old orange tubby to Minnesota State Highway 60, where travelers found it on December 18, 2009. The cat, whom rescuers called Timothy, died days later. In 2012, Wall stood against the Hayden Law repeal which would have revoked the Hayden Law for Shelter Pets in California, which had extended the number of days owners had to find their lost pets or for injured animals to receive donations or to be adopted. For 2012's Memorial Day holiday, Wall sent a message saluting the military, alongside the group Pets for Patriots, supporting adoption of pets for veterans. Later in the year he took part in the documentary Saving America's Horses, about both wild and domestic horses and the issues that plague them. In December 2012 he reiterated the need to support wounded veterans, and help reduce suicide rates, by pairing rescued animals with veterans. He has said of Israel, W. E. should defend them at all costs. They're the only democracy in the Middle East. Awards, 1989, Nomination, Emmy Award, Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, as Vinny Terranova in Wise Guy, 1989, nomination, Golden Globe Award, Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series, Drama, for Wise Guy, 1990, Golden Globe Award, Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series, Drama, for Wise Guy, Filmography, 
References External links Ken Wall at the Internet Movie Database